Hey guys, welcome to Ham Radio with K0PIR, and this video is on FT8 Call. This is a little bit different than FT8. It's not automated, so it requires a little bit of intervention. I really like this mode. I'll show you a good quick start guide coming up. Okay, I do have a video out there on downloading and installing FT8 Call and you can find the link below. I'll put it up in the top right hand corner too. But in that video, I didn't get my waterfall set up properly. And I had to uh, click on the little control box up in the top left, you'll see. And then it brings up the controls. And I have mine set up as follows. The uh, bins of pixels at two. Uh, offset right now, I'm at, that's this, I'm at 1650. But the start, I'm starting at 200, and then the average is at 1. I want this to scroll pretty fast. And you'll see that my width here goes uh, uh, from the left all the way over to about 2800. And that gives me a nice waterfall. I can see a signal over here. I'll click on it. I'm on 40 meters right now. But anyway, once I got my waterfall set up, I went ahead and made some macros and let me show you what I've got. I've got some here, they're just a few, they're very short and I found the shorter the better. And I've got my name in here, a grid again, the uh, county, uh, nice signal, thank you, see you later, and so on. But anyway, I've been using these macros, and of course I've got uh, QTC, which is my rig, and that is set up from File, Settings, and right here the station message. I've been using 20 watts. And then the QTH, of course, that's set from the same place also. And I found that you can stack these, so I can send these at uh, the same time. I'll be sending two transmissions and I'll show you what I mean about stacking or combining the messages and how many transmissions you send. This is a nice mode for making uh, short QSOs. I just wouldn't uh, get too long winded with them. So uh, that's the way I have my macro set up. That's the way I have my waterfall set up. And you see I've got some nice color in there and I can see the signals pretty well. I don't have auto selected up here. I normally don't have my beacon going up here. And uh, I do have my radio set for split mode. And in uh, this video, I'm using the ICOM 7610. I'm using the rig for split operation. And uh, I'm going to click test cat and then test push to talk. All that works. Click OK and uh, let me show you what the, the radio looks like. Yeah, let me show you what my radio looks like. And I switched over to 20 meters. On the 7610 and the 7300, you'll want to turn off noise blank or noise reduction and uh, any type of filtering that you have. If you get the notch on, you want to turn that off or the auto notch, you want to turn it off. And I have the AGC set to fast. Uh, I don't think in this mode or FTA it does uh, any good to set it to off, but I could be wrong about that. I, I've been using it on fast for FTA and it worked just fine. Uh, I have my bandwidth set to 3.6, and let me show you how I, I do that. It's pretty much the same on both of the radios, the 7300 and the 7610. Uh, you just hold down the, the filter button on the 7610 and it brings up filter one. If you tap bandwidth, you can change that. And I think the default is three, three K and I've increased it to 3.6. And uh, that's the way that I've been using it. I'll hit exit to get out of there and go back to the meter. So uh, noise blanker, noise reduction off, AGC set to fast and uh, my bandwidth at 3.6. Also, the radio's in split mode. I'm using the rig for the split mode. You could use fake it just as well. On the 7300, I found that fake it uh, worked better than using the rig for split. So it's worth a try, though, and uh, see if it works for you. 
Now uh, let's go over and see if we can make some contacts. Okay, I'm on 20 meters. It doesn't look like very much is going on. On the left hand side you'll see this level meter. And you can adjust this just like in WSJTX by going to the sound card properties going to recording the USB audio codec and change the level in there. You can also do it from the radio but I choose to do it from the software and if I go too high up it turns red if I go too low well I don't get anything so I try to keep it between 40 and 50 and uh, that's good and then on the right hand side I've got the power slider and I don't adjust my power with the power slider I've got an article on my website that uh, goes through how I adjust the power on digital modes and I use the power knob on the radio so I've got this uh, slider set near the top and when I transmit 20 watts my ALC is about one quarter about one quarter of the ALC scale and that's where I like it so when I adjust the power either 20 watts or 40 watts the ALC stays the same so I don't use this power slider okay uh, let's try to make a, a QSO here I'm gonna click on CQ and then go over to send and if I get somebody that comes back to me I use a directed the first time uh, I'll send a directed message so they know that I'm uh, communicating with them and I usually just send the signal report after that you can just send a standard message and uh, have a, a chat between the two stations well I didn't get anybody here's a QSO going on over here looks like down here oh here's somebody so when he comes back to me I can click on him and then I'm going to send a signal report to him let's see that's Mike and as soon as I see the little tilde after his transmission I'll send this there it is and if he doesn't send me a signal report back then I'm gonna request one and I'll do that from here click on the drop down and then right here what is my signal report let's see what he sends this is a very new mode so some people and me included are not real familiar with it and we're just doing our best to get along and make QSOs so you, you just have to be patient here it is you can see it in this cream colored area and then you can also see it over here this top one he's running a flex uh, 1500 it looks like we'll see if he sends a signal report 20 watts and a dipole I'm just gonna type in thank you uh, Mike Please send my report.
All right, uh, and then I'm gonna go ahead and send. Uh, Yeah, and then I'm going to add on my QTH. And his name is Mike. And uh, let's see, I don't have his grid square. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to click OK. I'm using 20 watts. And this software has its own log. I'll just export it and then import it into my regular log, which is DX Keeper. Okay, next thing I'll send is my station information. He's coming back to me, and this is working out to be a really good QSO. Pretty consistent here, and we don't have anybody on top of us, so uh, I'm not needing to send a directed message. So I'll uh, back up here and just send a Roger Roger. And then uh, go back to a macro and just put a nice signal. See, this time I'm going to send three. I'm looking over here at this button, and it'll be three short transmissions. And I got that. He said 73. I'm going to say 73. Click send. Okay, if you take a look at the links I have below, it'll lead you to a document on FT8 Call and the FT8 Call software where it goes over the clock and timing, band activity, messages, uh, lots of other things, standard messages, direct messages, uh, shows you an example QSO, uh, gives you the available commands, uh, gets into quite a bit more detail. It is a pretty simple program to use if you're just going to get out there and call CQ or answer somebody that's calling CQ. But it does have some advanced features and uh, it's something that you might want to play around with. Have a look at that document. It'll go into beacons and automatic replies. And maybe I'll do another video later on using the auto and the beacon and using all call. But for now, uh, that's a good quick start. Jump in there, call CQ, and see who comes back to you. I'm having fun with it, and I hope you do too. If you have any questions or comments, just make them below. I'll do my best to respond. I hope you find this informative and useful. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Also, tell your friends. 73 and good DX.